Hey folks, okay, just wanted to do the quick rundown on the upcoming Quiz 4. So, usual idea, um, it's going to be available from 7am to 7pm, uh, March 17th, and again, the idea is to finish by 7pm. Um, it's basically covering two weeks of material, so the stuff from the 1st to the 12th, obviously it's still going to refer to things before that, but that's what the focus is going to be on. Um, again, you've got 50 minutes, and then there's kind of a five minute grace period where, uh, where um, you won't be penalized. Uh, but again, any questions that are saved after the 55 minute mark won't be given credit. Um, again, unless something goes wrong, if there's a, any kind of technical issue that crops up or environmental issue, then just let me know and we can take care of that. All right. Um, again, there might be multiple variations of different questions and questions might be randomly ordered, but that's pretty much been the process so far. And again, it's usually going to be kind of long answer question, right? You know, the kind of material we're working with. There's going to be a, some theory, some applied, um, some lecture stuff, some lab stuff. And again, focusing on that kind of two week period. So most of the, the topics in there fell into the either subroutine abstraction, sort of activation records, heap management, array and record representation, object oriented system representation. Right? Those were the key areas in there. So again, just in terms of, uh, let me think of the specific topics here. So you've got uh, things like the division of responsibilities in the subroutine call and return right who does what who does what who does who does what in what order um again what what sequence of things have to be taken care of thinking about the abstract data types you're using for your activation records and thinking about whether those might be stack based or heap based and why that might be the case thinking about the kind of information that's going into those uh thinking about how and when you might need to give one activation record, a way to get at the information that's in another, sort of the sort of out of scope references. Um, so all of that material in terms of the activation record side of things. Uh, then we've got the heap management side where we were looking at, you know, garbage collection and memory fragmentation and how you handle allocation and deallocation and how you manage a free memory pool. Looking at aggregate data structures, so looking at things like arrays and records, and you know, for arrays, thinking about is this going to be row major or column major, right? How are we computing the offsets? Are all of my cells fixed sized? Um, do I do I have the ability to resize the array at some point? In which case, how am I going to handle that? You know, do I have some kind of smart pointer system or reference system that makes it easy, or is this going to get much more complicated? Uh, same ideas for record representations, you know, how am I laying out the, the fields in the record? Where are my offsets for that? How do I handle things like memory alignment? Am I going to rearrange these things to, to best fit in memory? Or am I going to insert padding and keep the original program's ordering of fields? How are you going to organize these things in memory? Um, do I have the ability to add and remove records as the program goes along? In which case, you know, do I have the ability to look up what, what fields are or pardon me, do I have the ability to add and remove fields from a record from the data type itself as the uh, program goes along, in which case we have to worry about changing the size of the representation and what's that going to do? Um, maybe have some kind of a mechanism for uh, actually being able to look up whether a particular field exists in a particular record at the moment. So all sorts of things to consider there. Uh, the object-oriented side of things, again, how do we handle inheritance of fields and methods? Uh, how do we handle, you know, calls to methods that we have inherited? How do we handle things like dynamic binding? So all of these have to be uh, have to be addressed. And again, those are going to be the, the key style of topics. And we'll keep it at five questions, ten marks each, you know, so figure ten minutes a question for the representation, or for the, the exam itself. Uh, quiz rules, same as they have been. Um, all individual work, everything has to be your own. Um, if you get information from someplace, be sure you cite it. Uh, no communication with anybody else during the time the exam is available. So no communication about the exam during the time the exam is available. So, uh, you know, no talking about people, no talking with people about what was on the exam, no email, no video, no etc, etc, etc. And the usual collection of technical links if you run into issues, but folks seem to pretty much have a handle of thing on things by now. And again, if something goes wrong and you have to run overtime, 
or you know if something goes wrong and you crash out completely and need to retake then just get in touch with me as soon as you can and we'll figure it out and i think that's about it